I'd like to take a minute or two to give you an overview of OpenText Social Workplace version 1.1. The OpenText Social Workplace product works entirely within the browser. It's a beautiful Web 2.0 application. You have the ability to customize the graphics and color scheme to match your own corporate image. At the login screen, enter your user ID and password and click on the login button. The first thing I see is what we call the home screen and this is my dashboard for collaborating with other people inside and outside the organization. I'm going to start with me in the upper left hand corner. One of the fundamental ideas behind Social Workplace is that we want to give users a way to publish information about themselves. We have structured information, their phone number, biography, work information, visual information like their picture, temporal information like their status, and unstructured information which we do on a blog. The other really important piece of information to understand is that this information is published only to selected people within your organization. Let's return back to the home screen. Each time one of the users updates his or her status, we see a new entry in the pulse. You can tell which users are currently online by the little green LED indicator. You can view the status entries for all users in your group, or you can focus on only those you follow, or even review just your own updates. You can reply to one of these entries as well. You can follow certain people inside of your organization. Hover over a person's name or picture to see their mini profile. And from here you get direct access to follow them, invite them to an instant message session, or see recent activity. Clicking directly on a user will bring up their profile. When you follow someone they get added to your My People list. Clicking on this item in the bottom right hand corner of the screen will pop up the list and you will get an indication of their current blog activity as indicated by the number of unread items in the little red badge beside their name. You can view their profile directly from here or you can invite them to chat in an instant message session if they are online. In the middle here we have communities and communities are an area where a group of people within the organization work together towards a shared goal. This might be something like gathering resources, reaching out to the community, or providing information to users. The key thing is that in all of these cases, I have a group of people collected together, working together as a team. If we go inside one of these communities, for example the Open Cafe, notice that I am able to find information. I see at a glance when information is new, when I see a little red blob. As I scroll down, you will see that the number is going down. This is a very efficient way to read. I can share documents like Microsoft Word and PowerPoint documents and there's a full wiki environment built in as well. The other thing that is really critical about Social Workplace is the ability to find stuff. Now we have all used things like Google to find information or things like LiveLink or Content Server to find documents but what we have done is taken it a step further and we allow you to do what we call a social search. I'm going to go here and maybe I need some help with marketing. Let me type marketing like this and press enter on my keyboard. As you can see every time I do a search not only does it find the content but it also finds me people and it finds me communities that are relevant to my query. We also realize that people find information related to a topic from many different sources. One of the best resources, of course, is the web. We have made it extremely easy to harvest information from the web and have that content automatically inserted and referenced in your community or blog. We've developed the Social Workplace bookmarklet that is added to your web browsers that will facilitate this. For example, here we are in YouTube and let's search to see if there is any video on OTSW in education. We may want to include this video in our community or in our blog. Here is the video that I'm looking for. Using Social Workplace Bookmarklet, I can capture this video, so all I have to do is click on the Bookmarklet button on my toolbar, and it recognizes that there is a video on this page and automatically includes this 
in my Share Media section. I am able to add additional comments that I may wish to include with the content. I could have alternatively clicked on an image or text content on the page to share. Now when I click on Share, the content will be automatically added as a topic to my community or blog. It's as easy as click and share. Open Text Social Workplace. Easy to buy, easy to install, easy to use, easy to own. It's a great tool for your organization.